how do you leverage Canva and make the very most out of it without it overwhelming you and taking a ton of time? I'm gonna show you how right now. If you've landed on this video because you wanna grow your real estate business and simplify it as much as possible, you are in the right place. My name's Alicia Crastell, and make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you get notified every time I launch a video. By the end of this video, you're gonna know the most powerful tools that you can use in Canva for your real estate business and also how to simplify everything that you do. We're gonna go over some tips and tricks to make everything easier for you. And also I'm gonna share some of my templates with you as well. First, I wanna share some of the things that that Canva has to offer for real estate agents that is amazing. You can do everything from your newsletters to a bio link, which is kind of like a link tree format. Just sold, just listed, hyper local stats that you can make branded to yourself. Instagram stories, Facebook stories, Instagram posts, art for your YouTube channel, a listing presentation and buyer presentations, open house flyers, even video. So you can get a lay of the land here. I'm going to show you real quick where things are and what you what tools you need to know about most. When you sign into Canva, this is what your home screen will look like. You have home, all your designs, anything that you've shared. So we're gonna to go to all your designs first. Um, these are all the ones that you may have already created. Up top where the purple is, that's a created design. So you can pick any of these, or you can go to the search box here and type in stories. And you'll see all of your options coming up. If you just click any of those, you can start designing. We're gonna do a real estate story. So we can use something that's in line with our industry. We're just gonna use this one just for demonstration sakes so I can show you where the things you need are on the side. This is are the main tools you're gonna to use. If you click where the image is, you can add in your own image. So if you go to uploads on the left, you just click upload media, and then you pick a photo that you would like and it uploads it. If you want that photo to come over, let's just use this one. You're gonna click it and drag it over and don't let go until it pops in. Otherwise, if you just drag it over, it'll just go in any spot you want. This has a funny color on it because it's got a filter over top. If pick one that doesn't have a filter and you won't have that kind of yellowy tint. Then your text boxes are here. If you wanna change the text, you just highlight it and type right over top of it. And up top has all of your fonts and colors and stuff that you want. And if you want the photo to be like a low, lighter opacity, you just bring that slider down there. One of the big things you can do here that's super simple and everyone asks about, you don't have to pay separately to get the background removed. So you just go to the picture that you choose, edit image, and if you go to BG remover, that will remove the background of that photo and you will be able to see what it looks like. There you go. It's more, it's more useful with photos of yourself or a person, but sometimes you want to cut out a house too. So that's how you do the background remover. Elements is something you can add and you can search. Like if you, you see the TikTok symbol there on YouTube, you could add that, or you can search for something that you might want, like a key to add to, and you just drag and drop it wherever you want. And you could do that for any element that you want. A lot of them are free. The ones that say pro beside them, that it, it, you have to have the pro version. It is a lot simpler than people want to make it um, as long as someone's telling you where to get everything. So when you're ready to download it, you go to the download. If you have multiple pages, which I'll show you later, you just click the page that you want, the format that you want, and download. If you want to share your file, you can copy the link if you're sharing it with someone who's going to edit it also. But if you just want somebody to be able to use it as a template, just click change that button there and hit copy link and then you can share it with someone else and they can use it too, which is exactly what I'm gonna do for you guys later. Canva also allows you to have a brand kit within Canva that automatically applies to your templates if you want it to. You can just click it and it'll take your colors, your fonts, and your logos and put it right on there for you. So let's click to your homepage and hit brand kit. And then you add your logos here. You can add your colors and the font that you use. I use Oswald, that's my brand font for what I do. So I don't have to go hunting for that font every time I wanna use it or hunting for these colors. And this is obviously my two brands, EXP and Mother Hustler on one palette. Okay, so how do we make doing the actual designs just easier for you so you're not doing this all day? Here's what I highly suggest. If you see in my designs, I've selected a, a template here. I did these new to us today so we could see them together, but I've selected ones that I kind of like. So I started with one, and what I want you to do is to pick three or five, three to five, no more. You don't need 25 sitting there. Pick ones that are in your style, and 
uh, this is what you want to want you to do. Add a page. Once you find the one you like, add a page and then find another style you like. Let's look for real estate story because this is a story format. Which one do you like in this section? Let's say we like this one. I'm just going to click it and drag it over. And now that's going to be my template. So for the next, let's say 30 to 60 days, I'm going to work from these templates and nothing else. You could use this as your own. You don't have to touch a thing that it's very, it's pretty. It could fit any market. And I'm we just put your name and then change your logo. You come up here and you go down to your logos. I'm going to take out their logo and then I'm going to drag mine there. See how it'll snap into that picture if you let it. Put my logo there. And then remember, I need, I'm going to remove the background. So I'm going to go to edit image and erase the background. You can use the up and down arrows if you want to move it as well. And then we're going to replace the name, Crestel Home Team. And then you can change the font if you'd like. I'm going to keep doing this over and over again. Just change the, change the text when you need to for the open house. Find the designs that fit who you are in your brand and just keep working with them. The same format. This could easily change from perfect house for listing to just listed. And then you take your photos, go to uploads and look for the house you want to put in there and just snap it in. And you can snap a photo back here too. The killer in the time is, is that you go through and you start searching all these things and you spend four hours changing your design every week when you don't need to. It just has to be the same design. You can even search specifically for just listed if that's what you're looking for and you really want that template. Add a page if you don't want to black. Drag it over. Now you have this format. Put your logo in here, change the photo, your price, and that's it. You can change it every time you have a listing and it's still gonna have the same look and feel as it did the last time someone saw you put a just listed in. This is the same for testimonials. I highly encourage you to get a testimonial format that you like, one or two maybe, and use them over and over again. Just change the testimonial or copy and paste it to highlight it all, copy it, add a new page, and then paste it, and then put your new testimonial on there from someone new so you always have it. The good thing about the testimonial templates is that they can also very easy transition to a tip. You just change the wording here and write your tip below and it's the same branding. I can't express that enough that if you have the same branding throughout, people don't care that you're putting the same design over and over again. They actually like it because they get to know who you are and they know, oh, that's your design. Oh, there's the one with the crab. Oh, there's the green, right? They start to subconsciously associate that design with you. That's what we want, right? Here is a way for you to highlight your local stats with feeling hyper local instead of it looking like everyone else's. Oh, this how many houses is listed. You can have this template. I'm going to put the template link underneath this video. If you want more templates like these, make sure you go to the content is leverage group in Facebook after you watch this video. Um, and I will be adding other templates that people can use. So I wanted to share that you can make this yours. You can change the colors and obviously the logos, but you want to put your specific town slash zip code in there. So it feels hyper local and you can change these headings to anything. You could say, make this all waterfront, right? Waterfront update and have just the waterfront houses that were listed, sold, etc. You could have average price point. This can have a house picture behind it. If you wanna put yourself in there, I've done a template here that you can put yourself. And I've added some other templates in here how you can add statistics in a more fun way than the typical statistic. If you wanna keep all the market updates for each month so you can post it at the end of the year as a highlight with all of them together, just add another page. And then it'll go to another design and you can just add in um, and put the month. When you're on your homepage, you'll see all your designs and you can click on any of these designs that you've already done and update. Did you know there was an option for video in Canva? So I took some video, if you put video, phone in the search, there's a bunch of different styles. I took one just to be able to show you guys. We're gonna go to uploads. You can upload the media, upload your video just like we did. I'm gonna click that and see how it has images, video, and audio. You just click the videos, and I, just like the picture, just 
dragged and dropped it right into here and now it will play. It's just a goofy picture, goofy video of me. You could have this say anything you want. You could promote a video, another video. You could promote an open house. You could promote a Q and A or a buyer home buyer seminar, but that's how simple it is to get video in there. They provide you the templates and you just drag and drop. It's also an option to record yourself. The bio link is something I just want to show you very quickly so you know it exists and you might be able to use it. I love um, this idea of doing a little like business card that's digital or a resource guide for your buyers and sellers. I envision this as the agent here or their logo there, what they do, and then each of these categories could be maybe your lenders, connection to your lenders, or explaining what an EMD is, but these are actually, you have the ability to link. So you can see on either of these, we're gonna do like, um, we're gonna make this first section, um, first steps to buying. And then you click the three little dots, hit the link, and then you can link it to one of your videos or whatever form you have to share with them, your blog post saying, this is their first steps. You could do the same thing for sellers. You can put a link in there to get your house ready and it could either be a blog post, a form, a video on YouTube, whatever you want. What I'd really love to see someone do is say, okay, this is specifically for Jen Smith and I've tailored these links specifically for what Jen Smith is looking for. I think that's very powerful, but it takes a little bit of time. If you'd like access to more templates that I'm creating, make sure you comment below with templates and I'll know that you guys want me to do that. Here is something that could save you so much time and take all the stress off of posting. It has a content calendar, which not everyone knows. If you're in the content calendar, it shows you the calendar. You can click the day that you wanna post something, hit the plus sign, pick your testimonial, right? This will work really great for testimonials. Um, pick the page you want. Like if you have 20 testimonials on here, you just don't wanna put 20. You pick the one that you want to have posted and you pick what channel you want it to post on, let's just say on Pinterest, and then you schedule the post. You can already add your description and title, schedule the post, or you can save it as a draft. It automatically posts for you in your groups, on LinkedIn, on Pinterest. The only thing, it doesn't post to your personal page, but you can have the designs saved and ready for you to post. If you wanna know exactly what to post on social media to be most effective, Make sure you check out the social media video that I did and make sure you subscribed and hit the little bell so you don't miss any valuable videos to help you grow your business.